good morning guys i hope you guys are well so this is a very detailed and very specific prophetic word prophetic message for someone okay um i received this prophetic message about three four days ago but i wanted to make sure that i was interpreting interpreting everything right and i wanted to just make sure that you know this message wasn't relating to me or anyone that i know personally that i could deliver it to so this is definitely for someone and we can all learn from this as well because I talked about yesterday in a video I posted about being extremely patient with God and not looking at how quickly other people may receive things because it may look like someone receives something quickly on the external, but behind closed doors, this may have been something that they were waiting for for a very long time, but you may not have been aware of that, okay? Another thing. When some people receive a breakthrough or a blessing from God, you have to understand that not everyone that receives a breakthrough or a blessing from God, not everyone was expecting it. Some people, they'll receive a prophecy from God ahead of time to, and God will let them know like, hey, there's something in store for you that's coming. But And, and because you know about it, now you're like eager to get it. You're, you're waiting on it. You're expecting it, right? And because you know about it, that is when you're most likely going to calculate the time, the dates, and you're literally going to be waiting. Whereas a person that doesn't know they're going to be expecting something, they don't even know they're waiting for something, right? So it may look like someone just received a breakthrough overnight. Like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I was single. I wasn't in a relationship. You know, I went to this this conference event. I met this person and within four months, six months, we're engaged. And God said, that's my wife or that's my husband. And then you may be looking at like, God, wow, he or she got married or is getting married in six months, seven months. But here I am waiting for my person. And it's been three years. But you have to understand that the person that they met at that conference or the person that that received that blessing they may not have even known there was something in store imagine imagine god had told that person four years prior they were going to meet that person they would have been waiting four years do you get it but because they did not know it looked as if they just got the blessing right then and there and got it really quickly because they didn't receive a prophecy about it ahead of time when you receive a prophecy about something ahead of time yes there's there's going to be a bit of weight because you're expecting it so there's going to be a bit of weight and there's a bit of requiring of more patience when it comes to you because you are expecting it right whereas not everybody is receiving prophecies from god about what is to come some people it just happens to them like someone may just buy a house tomorrow but there was nothing prophesied to them about it and they just see it as an unexpected blessing it just happened really quickly but let's just say that god promised you a house and you've been waiting for six years now but you it's because you know about it why there there's a wait time see when you don't know about something where's the wait time there's really no wait time because you didn't know about it you get what i'm saying so remember that as well okay because not everyone receives prophecies from god about what's to come before it happens many of you guys you do and that is again that is the beauty and that is the most that's amazing the fact that god can show you that something is in store for you that's beautiful right not everybody has that you know that privilege right so you have to understand that things may look like something but it may be something completely different so don't always be in a rush and, and eager to compare your life or to compare yourself to someone else because like, like i said when you have gifts and you are a seer or you can hear from god or you're a prophet or whatever gifts you have that you can hear from god and see what is in store for you not everybody has that access therefore not everyone's going to be waiting the way you're waiting because there's nothing for them to be expecting if they can't see what's to come do you get it so the point of me saying this again was one we're all gonna learn from that portion that aspect <laughs> but this particular message is related to a prophetic dream that god showed me and it felt so real like listen i was you okay but this was not my situation okay this was not my situation um although we've been in situations like this in the past many of us right but this reminded me of sarah and abraham how sarah god promised sarah to have a boy a baby boy and sarah was you know getting older and older in age and she wasn't able to conceive that baby yet so she gave abraham permission to conceive a baby with someone else only for the prophecy of sarah having the baby to come to pass years later right so they literally conceived a child outside of their marriage 
basically because of impatience because they were impatient right so the lord showed me um and that's the reference i'm giving you okay how regardless of if even if you're impatient you you know you're impatient you don't want to do things outside of god's will because it doesn't stop your prophecy from happening but at the same time it may cause you unexpected warfare unexpected heartbreak like not even unexpected, but it may cause you more like additional warfare, additional heartbreak. Like you may be putting yourself through a lot more than you were even supposed to go to go through because of your impatience, right? So the poem is saying this is God showed me a prophetic dream of how there's someone, I don't know who you are, but there's someone that whose ex came back in their life, okay? And this is not your person. You know, here's listen, this is not something where you have to I, I, maybe this could be my per no like god literally told you this was not your person god told you this is not the person for you god specifically told you you should not be with this person how do i know that because when i was you in this dream and i knew i was you because i did not look like myself <laughs> okay so when i was you in this dream it was like you it was like the thoughts i was having as you it was like when i looked at the guy that came back i knew right away I'm like, that's not the man that God told me I'm going to marry. But out of impatience, being impatient, right? I was like, well, I've been single for so long. Maybe I should give it another try. Da -da 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 -da. Letting me know that this ex that's going to come back in your life. It's like, because you've been single and you've been waiting on God. This ex coming back in your life, you may be like, man, maybe I should give it another try. And this is you now stepping outside of God's will. Because you know that this person is not your person. You know this, right? And in the prophetic dream, it was so weird because I went from looking like you just normally to all of a sudden six months passes in the dream and I have a belly and six months pregnant and I'm not me, I'm you now, six months pregnant with that same ex that came back in your life and the ex was cheating. He was doing all the same things he did in the past to you. He was doing it to you again, okay? So how do I know this? Because remember... In some dreams, in prophetic dreams, sometimes God will allow you to be in another person's shoes to experience what they're going through. So you can so you can either relate to them or you can you understand how to interpret what is going on properly. So for them to understand. So while I was you in the dream, I was rubbing my belly and I was like, man, why did I get back with him? Oh my gosh, I should have just waited on God. Oh my gosh, like this may have jeopardized my prophecy, man. Like, what's going on? Like, and you were just rubbing your belly and you were frustrated and the guy was stressing you out. And you were even saying like, man, he hasn't changed. He's been doing, he did this to me in the past. He's doing it again. Oh my goodness, I should have known better. Man, I should have just been patient. God, I should have just listened. Like, when I mean there was so much regrets, I'm being honest. Like, there was so much regrets. It's like you wanted to cry. It's like, it's almost like you knew better you knew better but out of you being impatient and not wanting to wait any longer you're like man the opportunity is here i don't love him but because we already have so much in common because we're already familiar with each other we understand each other i'm just gonna give it another try even though god has warned you over and over and over and over again no you guys ever been in a situation where God shows you prophecies of what would have happened to you had you stayed in a situation or had you gotten back in a situation. God has God shows me, I can't speak for everybody, but God shows me prophecies of what my life will be like if I went back to my ex or if I went back, if I married that person or if I married that. Like he literally will show me, hey, if you step outside of my will for your life, this is what you're going to live like. This is how you're going to live. He shows me dreams and visions like mostly visions like he will literally it's like a tv screen he will show me what my life would look like had, had i been with that guy or had i gotten that job or had i still been in that on that path right when i left new age he showed me a vision of what my life would have been like had i still stayed in new age he showed me a vision of what my life would have been like had i not leave my past and the far past behind when i was like you know, I had a job that was not the best job ever, but I but I left that job and changed my life. But had I been at that job still, he showed me my life would have been like. He even showed me my life in the in, in the past if I did not, you know, obey his instructions in the past in 2016. He literally showed me being on drugs and, and had I not listened to him. Do you see what I'm saying? So God shows me the precautions 
of what my life would have been like had I not listened to him. And this is why I say like being a seer, like it's not, it's a really hard gift to have, but it's a blessing because to be able to see what would happen if you do, if you go on this path, what would happen if you go on that path, what could have happened had you been backward? Like that is a blessing to be able to see that from God, right? So the point of me mentioning all of that is to show you how I can relate and the whole point of this dream and why God gave me this dream because he is letting you know that this guy is about to come back in your life and this is an ex and this is someone that really did you so dirty what I mean so dirty so dirty like he has cheated on you with multiple women like he is a player and the man is gonna come back acting like he has changed because here's the thing like I said in the dream you were normal with no belly and I can literally, because I'm being, I'm you in the dream, and I'm literally can hear what you're saying to yourself in the dream. And as you're looking at him, you're like, oh, maybe I should get back with him. Like, mm, I know he's not the one for me, but I don't want to wait. Like, it's like you are getting frustrated for waiting. And you knew, again, you knew better. You knew this was not the person for you. You knew right and then he came through and then let me tell you what god showed me so as you were six months pregnant rubbing your belly okay remember i'm you in the dream rubbing the belly oh my goodness so i went into this room my goodness and i wanted to see if he was cheating so i went into his pants pocket and there was like there was um things relating to a woman there was a gift a gift okay and it was like like a necklace because I opened the box. It was a necklace. And you won't guess what I saw on the necklace. This this was a cross necklace. And it had a cross with Jesus on it. Okay? It had a cross with Jesus on it. And there was like these red ruby diamonds or blue crystal diamonds on the necklace. Okay? And so as I opened the box and looked at it, there was this paper that fell out the box so there was a i don't even know how a necklace box fit in his his pants pocket but you know how dreams are weird like that like the, <laughs> the most random things will happen so the paper fell out but the paper had someone else's name on it and the name i don't remember the name like something with the a and w it was like a four or five letter word um name okay but in the dream once i saw the name i knew it was even though i was you in the dream and you have a different name i knew because of the thoughts you were having in that moment i knew that that was not my name so i put the the paper back in the box and i was like oh he's buying other women jewelry behind my back but then i saw another evidence there and the evidence was um a letter from that woman and they were in a relationship and this was an actual woman of God. Like this is someone that is a woman of God. And in the dream, you're also a woman of God. You get what I'm saying? So it's like this guy came back with this persona like, I'm a changed man. I'm a man of God. You know, I want to be with you. But then he ended up being the exact same man <laughs> like in the past. And but what he was doing now, his new tactic is... He was now manipulating women of God because here's the thing, women of God, when you meet a woman of God, you're not going to see a woman of God who's genuinely walking with God. You're not going to see her going out a lot. You're not going to see her living that, you know, hot girl summer laughs lifestyle you're not gonna see her out here you're gonna see a woman of god is someone that may be reserved maybe at home maybe in the church maybe just going to work and she's very reserved you know she's she's keeping to herself kind of thing so you know so he was now looking for women of god because women of god are, are good women so he had more control over some of these women who, and here's the thing if you really have that close relationship with God where you're hearing from him and you're a seer and all that, you may not be manipulated as easily. But there's a lot of people who are following God who don't, their discernment's not as strong. It does not mean they're not of God. It just means their discernment may not be as strong. They may not be as sensitive enough to receive what God is trying to tell them to take heed of specific warnings. They may miss the signs altogether. You get what I'm saying? So this does, this does happen. So, um, yeah, so he was now manipulating women of God and that was the kind of women that he was messing with. So here you are now, six months pregnant, regretting 
getting back with him, realizing he's the same man, and then you're finding out now that he's gifting other women with jewelry, and these other women are also women of God. And so he was he's like a player, but he's playing women of God. You ever hear those those stories of pastors in the church who's sleeping with the congregation? Right? I'm not saying this man's a pastor, but I'm giving you that as an example of how, you know, a man will will pretend like he's so um holy and so thou and and yet he's sleeping with four or five women in the congregation and four or five women in the church and they don't they don't even know he's sleeping with all of them they just know of their relationship with him but they don't know there's others with the same relationship right that's what this man was doing now he's targeting women of women of god right so whew, I, after that happened I remember holding my belly like man god what do i do i'm so sorry god he listened to you da -da 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 -da. and again I'm you. You're not, I, I don't look like myself. I look like a whole nother woman. I don't know, know who you are, but God allowed me to be in your shoes to experience that. And when I woke up from that dream, I was like, thank God. I'm like, thank God. I let go of my exit. I'm like, I need to give this woman this warning. But I also went on my knees and I also prayed for you. And I also rebuked and denounced what this man was trying to do in your life. Okay. And then I waited. Cause I'm like, God, I need to wait to get more clarity on if I should, um, put the word out or if it's for someone that i personally know that i can just reach out privately and then the lord reminded me about it this morning and not only did he remind me about it this morning but he also reminded me of the warning i gave you guys the other day remember that warning i gave you guys the other day what's the video called let me get the video name so you guys understand exactly where i'm coming from okay so the video is called um from 180 to 360 but this particular prophetic um vision that i saw for this word this wasn't in a dream this was actual vision i literally saw in this vision it was a female a female friend that came back pretending she was a woman of god now in this particular prophetic dream that i had this was an actual male that came back an ex pretending he was a man of god and he was changed and you know like a, but he was actually a womanizer basically right so i'm here to give you this warning wait on god like sarah and abraham that whole situation i had to use that analogy and even though sarah still received her prophecy she went through extra heartache extra trauma extra warfare that she didn't even have to go go through right and this is what i mean when i say like when god has a plan for you and a promise for you if you know that is not what god told you to do or not where god told you to go or who god told you to be with be patient with god because you will get yourself in some unnecessary trouble that you don't even have to go through. Like, we go through so much warfare. Like, listen, if God is warning us to take heed about certain things, it's to prevent more problems from happening. You get what I'm saying? So I want to just give you this confirmation, whoever it's for. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later for the other words. Bye.